Hello everybody, Luke back, this time to take a look at Google versus Bin versus DuckDuckGo. These are three of the biggest search engines out there with DuckDuckGo really growing quickly. Now, I did a whole video recently on DuckDuckGo. A lot of people asked, how does it compare? Now, it promotes itself as the private search engine that doesn't track you and doesn't keep all your information. And the big question came, well, that's great, but does it actually give me the search results I want? So we're going to be taking a look at that in this video by looking at some very common searches that people do, like what's the weather, food near me, and more. Let's see how each one of these three line up. Now, a real quick thing. I know you're probably asking, why isn't Yahoo on this? I was a big Yahoo fan for a long time, especially in the 90s and, and more. Well, Yahoo now just re-airs Bing search results. They actually are powered by Bing. They just kind of repackage it to make it look like Yahoo, but it's actually serving you Bing results. So we elected not to include that in this results because they would be the same as Bing on it. So keep that in mind. Now, with that said, if you're new here, do me a big favor, hit the subscribe button, hit the thumbs up. It helps us a lot because it lets YouTube know you enjoy what we do here. And hopefully we can help you learn something new about the world around you. All right, let's start off with the first search of weather. Each one of these searches was done just by entering the word weather into the search bar and starting off with Google. Now, Google real quickly gives you the weather right there, right below an ad, and it will tell you what the weather is, what the weather for the next few days are, and an hourly forecast there. And you can get some additional information by clicking on the um, precipitation or the wind there and more. Now, Bing, on the other hand, gives you all this and doesn't have an ad at the top. Plus they add a few more, they add a radar. And I really like on the right hand side below the radar, a few different websites you can click on to get a detailed forecast. And then below that you can see things like average weather for this day, for example. Now pretty nice, I will say Bing has a, maybe a little bit more graphical uh, pleasing. I do like the addition of the radar there, for example. It's a pretty nice feature. DuckDuckGo here, has very similar to Google results, a very basic straightforward weather that gives you what you want, an hourly forecast and a quick look at a few days in advance. And then once again, puts an ad rate below it of weather.com. Both of them very similar results. I will say though, I think Bing wins, wins this round when it comes to weather. It does seem like it puts a lot more content right up front with the radar there, quick links off to other sites and historical data all in one place. Um, beyond that, I would say that DuckDuckGo and Google are both effective. Both give you basic information you want, like current temp, hourly forecasts, and more. So it's a pretty nice uh, view there. Though, I think this comes down to a lot of personal opinion. Uh, you know, you may think one side, I may think that Bing is more beautiful. You may not. Let me know, which one do you think won that result? I will say when it comes down to the actual links below it, they're all pretty much the same, weather.com being first and goes from there. All right, the next one up, financial. People wanna know what the stocks are and one of the big ones out there is the Dow Jones Industrial Average. So I just typed in Dow Jones and thought, what would it give me if I didn't type in Dow Jones Industrial Average and I just said Dow Jones? A lot of people like to know, you know, what happened in the stock market. So starting off with Google, right off the bat, it gave me the current price of the Dow Jones Industrial Average. It's up a little bit today. And on the right gives me a little bit of information about what it is. Um, I can see there um, that brief description from Wikipedia, the market cap and more on it. And right below this, though the page got cut off, it shows some top news stories related to the Dow Jones Industrial Average. Pretty nice there, results from Google. Bing, very similar. Again, right below would be some news, but you can see the current price, a little information about it. I did find it interesting that Bing added Wikipedia, Facebook, LinkedIn, and YouTube to go directly to those official accounts there and the phone number for the company there. So pretty nice. I like that information on it. And I would say, again, very good job by Bing. Now, DuckDuckGo, did not include the current price information, did have recent news, a little bit about from Wikipedia, and it did link off to MarketWatch, which it seems to do for a lot of these financial searches I tested out where I can get the information, though it is one additional click. 
They did include right below it, though, the ability to find out the official Dow Jones website. Uh, I would say, though, Bing may win this and Google probably win this. I think a lot of people, when they search for uh, Dow Jones, are looking for what's the current stock price. Uh, I don't, though, clicking on another link may not be that big of a deal if you're really set on using it. All right, number three, food near me. This one I do a lot. I travel a lot for work. And I'm often like, I just want some food around me. I want to see what's close by. Google, you've probably seen this, brings up a nice Google map at the top that shows you where you are and a bunch of places around you. And then it lists them all out below you. Now that's a pretty nice feature there. Even shows you in feet how far away you are from some of these items. Now with that, it's pretty straightforward. And then you get some other searches like Yelp and more below this little box here. You can expand it to look more. You can click on the Google Maps to search in and out. Gives me what I want. And it does allow me to sort it by different cuisines, rating, price, hours, and more right there, which is a nice feature, I would say, that Google does. Bing, I will say, is very, again, graphically pleasing. I will say Bing has worked really hard on the graphics. You get this beautiful scrolling bar across the top of things near you. Once again, you get the idea, the ability to sort it by distance, cuisine, rating, price, hours, and more to kind of give you an idea of what you want to do. Just below it, you do have a map where you can click on that. And then once again, you get Yelp there where you can go and see what um, Yelp thinks are the best restaurants. DuckDuckGo, very similar to Google, uses Apple Maps. And then below that does include um, several recommendations for different restaurants and more right there and suggested searches there one thing i noticed duckduckgo doesn't do is they don't offer the ability to have filters right here there are some filters but not like on google and others it doesn't seem to be quite as many at least uh, but i will say they use tripadvisor for their information and i thought it was all very accurate and very interesting though it definitely shows up, up different results than the others. So very interesting. Each one of these have different results. You see Google is much more about what's closest, uh, Bing a lot more about what's um, rated there, and then you get um, some different ones both based off of TripAdvisor on uh, DuckDuckGo. So very easy, very straightforward to use, and nice touch there. Now the fourth search. I'm going to Florida, or I had a question about Florida, I just enter the state of Florida and see what it brings up. Now, Google right off the bat, again on the right hand side, brings up some basic information about it, this time from Google, uh, which I thought was very interesting. And then you got some other things like the governor, the capital, you got some basic Florida stories. But right at the top, you get some things um, right off the bat the myflora.com website, the official portal of the state. The Florida Department of State for official documents and more right there, which is very nice. You also have a little map that shows where it's located. Now on Bing, you, know, you get myflora.com and you get a bunch of subcategories on it. And then from myflora.com, it pulls up some things like the population, the area, the capital, and more. I do wish a map would be here. If I'm looking for a city or a state, having a map to show where it is is a nice feature. That's a nice graphical uh, representation there. On um, DuckDuckGo, again, very similar results. MyFlorida.com, number one. State of Florida, uh, for Florida um, information portal right below it's a little different than the others. But there's none of that quick find data on it. You don't have you know, a quick map, you don't have a quick what's the capital and that and more with that. So there you go, there's a few searches. Now I have to say a few things. When you look at it, the information's all there. I think you won't go wrong with all these and finding what you want. If you want the weather, if you want to find out places to eat, if you want to find out something, you know, a link to a state, I think for most parts it's there. I will say DuckDuckGo, being one of the newers, isn't quite as advanced in the graphical quick find. I find more often that they, for example, on Florida, while they do have a link to my Florida, it doesn't necessarily show me like a map to Florida. It doesn't necessarily show me what's the capital of Florida and more. Website owners probably love that because they are often upset by Google by, hey, Google puts so much information out there. People aren't clicking on the links and going to my website anymore because you're taking the information from my website and reproducing it. Now with um, Google here, um, you get 
a lot of information though, but you may be less likely to click on a link and help the people out there. I will say Google was a lot more aggressive in putting news stories in, but many others were. Bing and more farther down had similar news stories with that. So I would say overall, they're very similar. Now, when you come to different results, I think a lot of this is personal opinion. You know, DuckDuckGo uses Apple Maps, Bing uses their Bing Maps, and Google, of course, uses Google Maps. I think they all do the job. They're all very nice, and they all show you roughly where restaurants are located around you, for example, which is pretty nice. And with the um, thing for the Dow Jones, I think they're all great. I do think that it's a little weird that DuckDuckGo doesn't pull up current pricing. I think that would be a nice feature they could add. Again, though, I think a lot of website owners would like that better because you're not um, just stopping at the search result page. You actually click on. And weather. I would say they all give you the basic weather. Um, For example, if you're here looking for what's the current temp and what's the weather tomorrow, all three of these will do it. Um, I do say probably Bing wins this one, in my opinion, uh, because it does give you the radar averages and historical data, plus very nice links to other places like weather.com, weather.gov, weather underground, AccuWeather, and more. Now, with that all said, I would I would say I was surprised. Bing was better than I remember it. It's been a while since I've used Bing. Two thumbs up there. Uh, I will say DuckDuckGo gave consistently good results, similar, or I think in a few cases, better than others when you actually just look at the links. Graphical representation could be better, but if I was using DuckDuckGo, I would say, no, I wasn't wasn't losing information I want. Um, Now, news stories I thought were pretty consistent. I do think that um, Google was much more weighted towards the biggest story than maybe the most recent story out there, where DuckDuckGo was maybe rated more toward the most recent story on a topic than maybe the story that's getting the most amount of traffic out there. So I don't know. You leave me a comment. Let me know which one of these do you like. Did it surprise you at all? Was DuckDuckGo a lot more informative than you thought it was? Was Bing better than you thought it was? Well, do you think anything here changes your mind? I honestly think we're kind of getting to a point in search engines that's a personal preference where you can get the information you want no matter where you go, which wasn't always the case. You go back 20, 30 years ago, and search engines would often have very different results and maybe not give you exactly what you want. You may, in the early days, you may have to search multiple search engines to find what you want. Now, though, I think it's very common to just get what you want regardless of which search engine you're using. So keep that in mind. Let me know what you think. I'd love to hear from you. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up. It really does help us because it lets Google and YouTube know you enjoy what we do here on YouTube as we post a lot of videos like this, breaking down different things happening in the world around us. Thanks for your support. I really appreciate it. Take care, everybody. Have a great day.